have a real quick, hi guys, it's Sarah. I have a real quick resin share. Um, I actually did some bezels. Hey, stop. <laughs> um, I was, you know, I've been watching videos like crazy and had some bezels laying around and thought, oh, let me try it. So I did. I also re-poured um, a couple of these little jewelry pieces and I'm getting better. I did realize though that you do need to make sure if you have a dimensional piece putting in there, make sure that the resin covers it completely or it, it doesn't look the way you want it to. It doesn't have that like layered effect. I'm, I'm happy with this one though. The angel turned out okay. Um, I love dragonflies so I wanted to redo this one. Came out perfect but um, the blue glitter doesn't do it justice. I should have used green and I think it really would have popped and just made it all come together. But I'm pretty happy. I'm also loving, um, I mix um, perfect pearls and glitter and it is coming out really nice when you want to color your uh, resin. Okay, so then these are just three different um, Christmas ones that I did, these little bezels. I had these and I think I got these from um, Butterbee Scraps, these bezels. They're not real deep. So, I mean, you can't really do too much uh, building in there, but these enamel um, charms are just so cute. So, um, I actually put stickles behind them. A lot of the um, tutorials I saw, people were mixing their glitter with white glue, and I didn't have any white glue, so I just used my stickles, and it seems to have worked out okay. This is just the skull that I had, and this is like a, I think this was from the um, $1.50 bin at Michael's, I'm not sure. But again, not really deep, so not too much of a, an effect with the resin on that. Um, these two I just kind of played and put some charms and different stuff in there and wanted to see what that would look like. So I mean, I, this doesn't turn me on too much. Like I love these, how they turned on. I mean, turned on, <laughs> turned out. But um, I think the glossy accents just works as well for making small things like that. Um, these two were a little more steampunky. I was going with steampunk and I put way too much stuff in there. You can't even see all the stuff I put in there. I put so much stuff. <laughs> so uh, just wasted a lot of my stuff because you can't even see it. It's like so piled on. Um, I should have done like several pours in here too. Ooh. So anywho, um, and then this one's the last one I just... Um, I had this bottle cap. It was already done with, um, I think I used Dimensional Magic, but I just stuck this uh, hummingbird in there and that little uh, gem and put some resin over it. And it, it, you know, basically the same effect, but he's not going anywhere. He's in there. And then I did this little uh, spider and he came out good so I can make my uh, spider ring. Um, again, I didn't quite cover him enough with my first layer. So some of the glitter went up in there. It didn't get ruined. But I'm definitely learning. The more um, trial and error you do, you're going to learn more. So I'm moving on to bigger things now, guys. So look for a step-by-step um, -step with me. I'm going to be making a, uh, what is it? It's like a mermaid tile. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.